Welcome to Collecting Chaos and a rather puzzling haul. If you want to know what I'm talking about, keep watching. Okay, uh, went to the shop, went to the comic shop and picked up a few new comics. New to me, some of them are a few months old. Uh, some of them I got just because I didn't have those covers and I liked them. So we'll start out with Supergirl 22. Now I have a copy of Supergirl 22, uh, but it and this has a, a ding on the on the side there. But you know it is what it is. So it's very fine to near mint. You know, I can live with that. Let me make sure we get a good focus here. Uh, but I don't believe I had this cover, so I decided to buy it. And number 30, and I'm sure I don't have this cover. And 31, another cover that I'm pretty sure I don't have. And I like these covers, so there's no reason not to have them. And number 33. And... Something I don't normally buy here lately. Batman 93 variant cover. Again, I like the cover. Uh, I have a copy of Batman 94. It's a second print, but I have a copy of it. And I want to read this storyline. That's why I got it. Uh, Batman 95 variant cover. And Batman 96 variant cover. I couldn't resist. And a new one from Antarctic Press, Patriotica. Again, it's a cover that I had trouble resisting. It's just really nice. I'm still thinking it's not complete. The focus isn't right. Uh, and the interior artwork, I liked the way that looked, so I went ahead and bought it. I'll read it, and if I like it, I'll keep getting it. And if I don't like it, well, at least I'll have the first issue. And now for some older stuff. Here's a, a three-pack. This has Superman 19, 20, and 21. Now, I don't know if these are first prints or second prints. I wouldn't. Uh, there's no way to tell unless I open it up. A lot of times they would put second prints in the three-packs. And I picked up a copy of Action Comics number 461. It's not in the best shape in the world, but it came with another comic. So that's why I bought it. Uh, same thing with this one. This is number 496, and again, it came with another comic. And I don't mind having doubles of Action Comics. This one is really dirty. And uh, I'm thinking this is a good candidate for cleaning. Uh, maybe we'll have that on a video. Here's a copy of Action Comics 499. Yes, no, 498. Notice it's Whitman. This came in a three pack. It's. I always get the Whitman variants when I can find them, just because they're cool. I like to have them. Uh, not because of money, but because I think they're neat. And again, very dirty. Uh, could use a cleaning. Here's here's 4.99, and again, it's a Whitman variant. I have to be careful or I'll stop what I'm doing and read it, <laughs> even though I've read it before. Uh, a rolled spine, dirty cover. Yeah, I might be going through and do, working with these a little bit. And I picked up World of Krypton, the series one, 1, 2, and 3, I think it is. 
Um, this one has a very bad spine split. It goes halfway up the book. It's new. It's 1979. It's new enough that I will probably go ahead and repair it uh, because I plan on keeping this. I don't plan on selling it. World of Krypton number two. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. The, this was actually a really good story line. I, I used to have a copy. It was with a bunch of comics that got uh, removed from my possession through no fault of my own. I like Howard Chaikin's art on this. I think he was ahead of his time. That's number three. And here's the second series. World of Krypton number one. And this one was by John Byrne. And uh, Mike Mignola. How can you go wrong with that? Number two. And these are from 1986 or 1988, 87, 88. Uh, number three, Simonson cover. World of Krypton number four, again. It was a good story. I liked it. I enjoyed reading it. And it, it kind of sets up John Burns' uh, Superman. Then I have The World of Smallville. <laughs> uh, this was from 1986. Or no, this one is 1988 also. Again, John Byrne. But Kurt Schaffenberger is the, uh, is the penciler. And Schaffenberger did a lot of Superman over the, from the 60s and 70s. Him and Kurt Swan defined the character uh, during the 60s. They d defined the, the look of the character. Here's number three. And number four. And then uh, here's a Wonder Woman, number 44. Uh, I picked up this because it was some more in my, the current run that I didn't have. 44, 45, 46, 47. And 50. And like I said, this is more of the uh, current run that I don't have. So that's why I picked it up. Well, I have them now. Here's uh, something else I picked up today at the comic shop. Favorite Mother Goose Rhymes. Now this is, this is a linen book. Uh, and it's from 1937. It has some writing in it, but still... It's, the artwork in it is just phenomenal. I really enjoy looking at this stuff. Uh, when he showed it to me, I didn't even open it. I just said, yes, please. And here is a Puzzle in frame. This is of an Indian cooking with his little raccoon and bird. And then there's two in this little bag here. And these were done by Play School, probably in the 50s. Uh, I like that sort of thing. And here's two more of them. So there's a set of four that I have.
And here's another one from Play School. And this one is I I I need to do some more research to find out exactly when these were made. Uh, they don't look like they've ever been taken out of the frame, which is kind of cool. Uh, the cowboy with his campfire and his horse in the background. And the last of the frame, well, I have one more frame puzzle left of this. And this one was 1961. And of course, it shows the man, uh, the cow jump over the, you know, the cat and the fiddle, and the cow jump over the moon, and the little dog laughed, and the dish and the spoon running away. So, last of all, peanuts. Didn't take the price tag off of that one. Oh well. It doesn't matter. I didn't pay $10 for it anyway. And this is from 1961, I think. No, this, this has to be later because it has a barcode. And barcodes weren't introduced until the 70s. And this Again, more research is needed. But since barcodes weren't introduced widely until around 73 or 74, this has to be in mid-70s or later. Uh, but still, I like stuff like that. So, And that's it for this puzzling haul. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you saw some things you've never seen before. And don't forget, before you hand your, handle your collectibles, make sure you wash your hands.